Depends how much or how little you want to tell us what's the plan at quarterback this week. Yeah, no, uh, we've we've been uh, uh, repping them both at practice. Uh, you know, I thought both have had a pretty good week. Uh, don't know who will take take the first one. I uh, would expect both of them to obviously play and, and be a part of it and contribute. And uh, we'll kind of finish up this last day of prep and have a meeting tomorrow morning and kind of uh, put the exact plan together. So, Why is splitting two quarterbacks something that could work for this team? Well, I, I think I think the first and, and main thing, I think both of those guys are uh, just in, incredible individuals. They're incredible team guys. I know uh, as, as even as the game went last week and uh, obviously we were able to do what we were with some of that quarterback run game stuff, um, how, how, they, how they have worked together um, has, has been outstanding and, and very similar to uh, you know, Adrian and Will last year, I, I think it has a, uh, a very similar dynamic as far as their heart for the team and, and wanting to help each other and, and ultimately do whatever it takes to win. Is there a feeling that Will is completely healthy? Yeah, no, I, I, think, uh, uh, I think he's definitely feeling uh, better than he was a couple weeks ago and um, I think got out last week, uh, you know, pretty well. So I think he's, he's all right. Imagine going into last week, you would play Avery that much. You know, uh, if I was probably to put a number on it, I'd, I'd probably not that much. You know, but uh, again, every every game takes its own twists and turns, and sometimes it aligns how you think, and sometimes it doesn't. And at the end of the day, we're all trying to to make adjustments and, and figure out what uh, and kind of direct the game offensively of of what. Based on what they're doing, how things are working, what I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things that end up dictating where we end up going. So, no short answer, but uh, again, he was ready and answered the bell and, and was able to make some huge plays. Based on how this game unfolds, is that going to change how you manage the quarterback situation? Um, you know, I, I think uh, I don't know. You know, just because again, there's there's so many variables that that, that do go into it, but. Uh, I know this. You know we're going to do what whatever we feel like is is necessary to to put our team and our offense in in the best position to succeed, and whatever that means. You know I I know both those guys will uh, answer the bell when their numbers call. How proud were you of Avery for him to do what he did in this first Big Twelve game? Uh, I I was excited for him. You know I was he was uh, uh, he just he's worked so hard. I mean he really has. I mean since the. The day he got here in January, I mean, he is, he is really, really, gr truly grinded. Not just, you know, tried hard. I mean, he is grinded and, and really prepared himself. He was, we've all known he's, he's been ready. He's, he is ready. And, uh, you know, and, and was very, how he even talking to him through the game and how he was seeing things, uh, it, was, it, was, it was very, very nicely done and, and couldn't, be, couldn't be more proud of him. Out on him now. I mean, TCU's <laughs> gonna probably know he's gonna run the ball. How yep. do you, as an offensive coordinator, scheme up plays when the defense knows what? Well, it's uh, no doubt, and it's you know even you go back and 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 look at some of the plays he was able to make throwing the ball, even though there weren't a ton. Um, you know, again, the the amount of pressure you're able to put on people when you have someone that that can truly go like that, and if he gets a crease, he, you know he's gone. Uh, it, it helps everything because then it, it standardizes people, it stabilizes uh, pressures, um, you know, and, and kind of will uh, it, it'll help a lot of guys get going and a lot of other aspects of the offense get going. From a standard college, college variable, where is Avery Johnson's grasp of passing concepts in the pass game? Ooh, I, I mean, I, I think it's very, very high. I mean, I, I think he. Again, he plays what he sees. He doesn't. He doesn't guess. He doesn't force things. Um, you know. I mean, he's still learning. I mean, there's no doubt, and, and uh, things happen fast. But but no, I I don't. Uh, you know, I think that's part of just we got to make sure as when we game plan and as you look at the defense, uh, you know, and as we as we install packages and out of certain formations that uh, we just detail it thoroughly. You know, and and he like I said, he he studies extremely hard and. Uh, you know, you can tell by the end of the week, even too, in some of these game plans, that it really uh, that work starts to uh, kind of take hold, and, and he ha he has a very good understanding about it. I would have no worries about it.
there are opportunities for additional receivers to play or the receiver, young receivers or the ones that you have played to play more? Uh, Jace did a really nice job. Uh, you know, I, he was the one I think I mentioned last week. And, and again, I think uh, he'll continue to uh, probably have a little bit more of a role. Um, you know, Trace Bivey's had a good week of, good week of practice. Um, you know, how that all ends up going will, will kind of depend on, on how things go here these next two days. But again, we just got to keep working and, and, and keep getting some uh, continuity in our passing game. What was your message uh, for Will after that game? You know, I, I think both of us were just in a, in a state of, uh, hey, the team won. You know, and at, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing that all of us are trying to accomplish. And uh, he was he was so happy for, for Avery and, and uh, you know, I'm sure he was, you know, I know obviously, uh, you know, probably wanted to play more, but at the end of the day, that's, that's not truly what it's about. And he exemplifies that. So the third time playing TCU in a matter of months here, how does that help or hurt you when you're being planted for a defense? Um, you know, I think it'll, it'll be whoever probably, uh, is able to capitalize, you know, on that knowledge and, and kind of who's able to make those adjustments uh, down the stretch. I know. You know, we're, we're a little bit of a different team. They're a little bit of a different team. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think from a not only just familiarity, I think at least their defense compared to our defense is in the same family of things. And so uh, th there's a lot of familiarity with certain pictures, certain types of coverages and alignments for our guys. So, uh, you know, we've got to be able to capitalize and execute and uh, get them in a good position and then, and then make some plays. So, you know, I think it's... Um, uh, you know, I, yeah, it, it'll be a good challenge, though. How did the offensive line play against Texas Tech? I thought they did a really nice job. You know, I mean, there's always there's always things that that we can improve on and and, and get better. But uh, you know, I think they're really uh, staying on blocks and, and finishing better. Um, you know, you can tell the mentality is uh, uh, they've really kind of uh, gotten into a groove here these last couple weeks. And um, again, they they do a heck of a job. See from the TCU linebacker group and the secondary as well. Um, you know, I think uh, <clears throat> they got a couple guys that have obviously played. Uh, you know, so I think they're experienced. Um, you know, I, I think number six, even from when we played them the first time last year, uh, just continues to to get better and 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 play good ball. Um, you know, a really good corner, obviously that we played against last year. So. Uh, again, I, I think they do a nice job. Coach Gillespie's tremendous and, and uh, be a good challenge for us.